Hello again guys, I'm Philip Magnus once again coming to you from Dishonored and today I'm going to be poisoning the Deadenwall Whiskey Distillery for my darling lovely Granny Rugs. She's such a nice old woman, how can I refuse her request, let's just call it, eh? And now let's see, I do believe there are some treasures here. Can we just drop the bottle? Yeah, and F. F will do that sometimes. Alright. Oh, rituals and the like. Dark gods, outsiders. It's all a joke. A legend. Nothing true whatsoever. Guys, go check what happened with the bottle, please. Alright, thank you. Now to lock the door. Let's see, Hart, tell me something. I never would have taken you for a user of the spirits. You seem quite rather heartless. <laughs> Get it? Because she's a heart. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Oh, look. A trap. A tripwire. How lovely. However, will I not trigger it? Alright, so we've got two of you folks. Another down below. Alright, this went better than expected. Let's chog you somewhere around here. Oh, I do believe. Ooh. That does not surprise me one little bit. Slash the trout of this fellow here. Take the blink. Okay, don't take the blink. Yet, anyway. Ah, you cancel blink with F. That's that's good information. Bone charm. Three out of five bone charms found. Let's see. Scavenger. You find ammo in greater amounts. Cool. Oh, I can activate. I can activate three more. Good God, I'm blind. Fire water, shot whiskey bottles explode with greater intensity. Good. Uh, meh. Blast resistant. This could be useful. I do believe these guys spit fire, if memory serves. Delicate touch, breaking glass. Uh, interesting. River affinity, I don't need that. Good lungs. Maybe later. Actually, sure, in water of life. Drinking from fountains recharges a small amount of health. I have never seen a fountain, but Sure, I guess there is one somewhere. Alright, so here is our elixir stall. I do believe there is a certain way to create health elixirs, and plenty of them. So let's stock up. I say, I say, I say. Operation instructions. Yeah, I kind of got that. On my own, mummy. Spring razor. Cool. A spring razor trap can be attached to any surface by aiming it at it and pressing the right mouse button. It will be triggered as an enemy approaches it, throwing up a cloud of shrapnel. Lovely. And very bloody as well. I wonder how many of those I can 
fill up and hold on to at any one time. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Is there a limit to my elixir inventory, actually? I can't... I can't recall... Ah! It finished. Oh, That's too bad. Never mind, though. Elixir account. Oh, lovely. Well, I guess that all of those people are now dead. But then again, I did just use all of it, and... Eh. Oh, anything here? No, nothing at all. So I guess I should go back the way I came, with minimum murder on the way. Oh, a hemlock essence, Piero's spiritual elixir. A book, the rat plague. Didn't we read that already? Um, yeah, the rodents themselves seem immune to the plague. Yes, I recall that. So I would have to say that we either read this at one point or another, or I have done that all myself, all by myself. I managed to avoid detection, which is nice, really. I'm surprised they did not hear this. Alright, we got into this here place, which, as far as I recall, has got a lot of fun things. Uh, 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 uh. See, I can't get any more elixirs. That would have been good to know. But hey, then again, I do have every single elixir I can carry, so I think I'm in a fairly good spot. Did I forget this? Uh, no, I did not. Ah, but I forgot this one. A pouch with gold and even with an apple. An apple a day keeps the rats away. Oh, so I think it goes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my, two rats. Uh, that was stupid. Thank god they are even more stupid than I am. Let's see what's going on inside. No one is looking at me. No one is here. Which is good. Which is good and important. A rewire tool? Why, thank you, you didn't have to. And another circle of silicon here, which I simply cannot grab. Alright, I actually think I've managed to avoid detection this time. Which is, I won't lie. Kind of refreshing, but also kind of disappointing, you know? I'm contemplating murder right now. Oh, more bullets! And I have all the bullets I could ever possibly use. Which makes me kind of want to kill everyone. But no, let's, let's spare the tugs. But then again, they are tugs. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know, I can do this. Um, powers. I'll buy this. Will I buy this too? Do I really need this? Maybe I need possession. Hmm. This is a difficult choice, isn't it? Bend time and kill everyone, or don't bend time and kill everyone. Yeah, let's go with bend time. Press the right mouse button to slow the world around you for a limited time, or until you press the right mouse button again to end the power. 
At level 2, time is completely stopped. Enemies and security systems are unaware of you for the duration. Which is cool and awesome. And I suspect that I should probably do this. 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 And let's go with this. Oh, I did not kill the two of you. That's so sad. Whoa. Yes, I'm really happy that I... Ah! That I have all of those extra... Um... Alexis! Right! I got the cleaner achievement, which... I have no idea what it is. Fight with five enemies at once without any of them surviving. And why would they have any other choice than to die? I have no clue whatsoever. Alright, this was fun. Ha! It actually really was. Oh god! My friends the rats. The outsider... Well, he's not helping matters by sending his pesky little creatures. They are a pain to deal with, I promise you that much. Turvin or coins, distillery, the elixir black market. Let's see, we've seen widespread looting since the month of clans. It wasn't prevalent at first, but it's a pattern now. There's an outbreak in one of the districts and the watch moves in. We quarantine buildings, put down weepers and deport anyone showing early signs. Afterwards, the dead counters come true and the lawyers write up the paperwork to transfer ownership of businesses and homes at Parliament's discretion. Ah yes, there is Parliament here as well. Soon after, like clockwork, the gangs begin tearing the place apart. There's a fairly robust black market now, because everyone wants elixir and most can't afford it. Even Sokolov's brand won't help you if you've already got the plague, but getting a regular dose is your best chance if you want to avoid contracting it. Some of the gangs have taken to buying small amounts and watering it down before selling it. And I have to admit, if I didn't have an officer's ration, I'd be buying from them. Gerard Corey, City Watch, Third Regiment, Estate District. Alright, Gerard Corey, you're a fine exemplary officer to her Empress's dead body. Let's see. Time to take those bullets. I mean, the only reason I killed all those people was because I had too many bullets. Which I suppose does tell you something about my personality. I'm a sunshine. <laughs> anyway, let us continue onward to victory. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Bottle Street. And I do believe Granny Rags owes me a little something something. Granny? Oh, Granny! Are you here, my dear? I, told her. I need to go get that rune. Peel it off so it can oh, I yes. Charming. Yes, yes, Granny. Of course not! Along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. Aww, you are just the kindest, warmest evil which I have seen. And that was not creepy at all, no, no, no. I can't believe I forgot to loot this room. Can I? I kind of want to throw it at her, but I guess that she will get slightly angry. Anyway, 
Time to pick what's mine. New rune added. Excellent. I can now buy dark vision. But I still don't want to. Ah! Jesus. Her laughter is way more creepy than you want a human's laughter to be. Trust me. Anyone? Oh, God. Hello, Griff. I believe I need to buy something from you. Yes, I am. Ah, oh, yes. This right here. 7 out of 10. Should I buy one or two? No. No, 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 no. 7 is more than enough and I'm sure I'll find some in due time. What? What was that? I didn't do anything to you, old man. I swear I didn't. Oh, this seems slightly creepier than the last place I used to be. Alright, I'm fairly certain that I should save the game just because I feel something dreadful oncoming. Or rather, at the very least, a gate filled with guards. What have you done to me? And that is exactly what I was hoping the heart would say. And the answer to that is the game decided to crush for some reason. Which was unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Hello. I'm just going to pass through in the hopes that something happens. Alright, so we've got two walls of light. And I have to pass the second one. Now, if memory serves correctly. Um, basically what is going to happen if I try to blink through the wall of light is that I will get fried like a little fishy, basically. And so I shouldn't do that. What I should do is find a way to rewire the device, the bloody bloody wall of light. First thing I will do though is kill this guy. Oh, I know where I will dump him. It it should be obvious really. Here. Irony points. Get it? Because it's full of bodies that yeah. Oh I found a pouch. See? Dumping bodies brings you lots of wealth, surprisingly. Oh, cables. So that is. Uh... Now I should be able to blink all good and proper. And this is how I will rewire the circuitry. Now all I have to do is watch. Someone needs to notice that this is not working properly. Don't... I'm invisible. You do not see me. Does, does no one seriously notice? Must I chug something just to have them realize that the bloody wall of light isn't working? I want to kill you so bad, but I want to kill you in another way, which is far more amusing to me. Go on. Yeah, go. No one will go.
Do none of you hear the bloody bottles? Fine. I'll do this the old-fashioned way. Come on! Come, get over here. Finally! What will you do now? Well, you are slightly smarter than I suspected. There is an alarm now. Will this burn me too? Yeah. No, good. Easy as pie. You guys bore me. You guys are so bad at your job, you did not bother to check the bottles. You did not bother to see that the bloody wall of light did not bloody work. No wonder our great city has fallen to such lows. Oh. Hello. Excellent. Ah, <sighs> it's good to be evil. Let's see. Confiscated rune. Sure. Corporal Meadows. Meadows. We found this strange rune on the woman who used to sell pastries of the street. Not sure how she died, but since the thing looks superstitious, we set it aside for the overseers. After your shift is over, take it to them for disposal or whatever they do with them. Don't forget. And I'm afraid that forgetting is the least of this guy's Hello, boys! See? Stylish and pretty. I just seem to have found myself with a rather handsome amount of elixirs, and so I think I will chug two up to restore myself. Oh. Who's a dead guy? Who's a dead guy? You are! You are! <laughs> I have no mercy in me for tugs and other things. But see, if I had gone this way, I could have easily passed without any of the wall of light nonsense to waste my time. But it was way more fun that way, right? And you get this very joyous streak when you kill all the people. Especially by burning them to crisps. Ah, the joy. Anyway, I think this has been a good run, don't you? And I will see you next time. And what we are going to do next time is we are going to get ourselves a high overseer to play with. See you next time. Bye!